Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Aretha Franklin's sister-in-law wants some respect for the services she rendered as a caregiver to Aretha Franklin in the months leading up to her death. Now, Early Franklin has filed a claim against Aretha's estate asking to be compensated. $43,000, yes, yes, $43,000 for her services from April to August of 2018. Now, a year after her death, the future of Aretha's estate is at the center of a power struggle between the late singer's family and their attorneys. Now, earlier this month, a hearing was held in which nine lawyers battled over the future management of the estate, and it ended up with Oakland County, Michigan Probate Court Judge Jennifer Callahan placing control under court supervision. Now, Earlene, who was married to Aretha's brother, Cecil Franklin, is pursuing the payment of $16,740 in April, $17,298 in May, $16,470 in June, $17,298 in July and 4,464 in August. Now, she wants $5,000 for return of Air Force military tag, flag, I'm sorry. Erlene has got an uphill battle since the state is embroiled in a legal battle. Now, the courts will execute decisions on behalf of Franklin's estate, which includes property sale. Now, future more. Now, despite the current Legal status, Franklin's niece, Sabrina Owens, will continue to be the estate's personal representative. Now, Franklin, who died at the age of 76 last August, left an estate said to be worth as much as $80 million, including real estate holdings and the rights to her original composition. Now, the Free Press reports the debate over estate control is believed to have increased tensions in the family made evident by arguments made by lawyers during the hearing. For example, an attorney for Franklin's youngest son said he should have more input in the decision of the state, while Owens' authority should be restricted. But now Owens, which is her niece, lawyer David Bennett, shot back that uh, her youngest son, Kikaf, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but anyway, does not have the capacity to be the estate's personal representative. And additionally, the guardian for Franklin's oldest son, Clarence, who has special needs, said Kikaf has never demonstrated any real ability to support himself or act as a fiduciary. Mm, well, you know, uh, 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 Hmm. My thoughts on that. I mean, I think they should let Sabrina Owens do it. I mean, Aretha Franklin was in right her right state of mind when uh, she uh, uh, asked her her niece to do it, and when she placed her as a representative. So I don't think Aretha wanted her sons. I think she thought they were incapable as well. Now, as for the sister-in-law. Wanting all this money, like she was a nursing home. I mean, I mean my goodness, a nurse would uh, pay. Uh, <laughs> a nurse would charge that much a month, and this is her sister-in-law. I think if she wanted to be paid this amount, a contract should have been drawn up prior to her coming in and uh, being Aretha's caregiver, because I'm sure. Uh, the estate was said, nah, we'll find us a, a sitter or somebody you too high. But now, after the fact, now she comes wanting to be compensated. Ah, ah, mmm. Where you do that at? Mmm. All right, guys, what you think about the system I now want all this money? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I tell you. All right, we'll talk about it. Press that comment button. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, be blessed. Bye.